San Francisco City Hall is celebrating its 10th anniversary of renovation. And 94 years ago, when this place was built, I don't think that the architect imagined that his great rotunda space would be painted by sound as it is being today. Bill Fontana, a San Francisco artist, has just opened Spiraling Echoes here at City Hall. Bill, you had your opening yesterday, and this is a project that is taking you three years to realize. Can you tell me a little bit about sort of what this represents for you? Well, it represents like a new chapter, I think, in my uh, professional working practice as an artist because I'm doing something here that's radically different than anything I'd ever done before. In this case, uh, instead of filling the rotunda with sound, I'm inscribing it with sound. I'm kind of making a, an acoustic drawing because I'm using ultra, these uh, devices called ultrasonic emitters which aren't really loudspeakers, they, they produce these laser beam-like, uh, high-energy beam of ultrasonic frequencies far, far beyond the normal range of human hearing. And these emitters use the, uh, the ultrasound as a carrier signal to transport audio. We're hearing birds, we're hearing clanging. Uh, what is the source of all of these sounds? Well, you know, originally I had a fairly wide palette of sounds in mind when I was thinking about doing this, but as I experimented with these emitters, I found that it was actually uh, sounds that have low frequencies in them, like foghorns, are very difficult to reproduce uh, on an ultrasonic pipeline. And the sounds that really worked best were sounds that were sort of mid-range, high-pitched sounds, and birds are especially uh, effective with these. Uh, an, a very uh, classic San Francisco sound that works uh, really well with this are the signal bells of the historic trams that go along Market Street on the F line. And we hear water. And water. I have underwater recordings of uh, the bay. So in a way, you've, you've brought in the surrounding sort of bay area into the heart of City Hall here. Right, or at least the parts of it that'll, that I can fit through an ultrasonic pipeline, delivering the sound to the ultrasonic emitter is using um, digital audio technology that's sort of evolved in the last uh, 20 years. Uh, hard disk recorder, or d digital mixer, th those things. The basic kind of philosophy I have as an artist uh, in approaching uh, my work hasn't really fundamentally changed in 40 years. I think it's more that it's evolved and my ability to do it and understand it and work with it is what's really sort of changed in gotten refined over time, but this is really the first time I was ever able to do a sound sculpture that was so uh, sort of transparent and kind of, uh, in a way, kind of whimsical in a space. You've done major sound installations in London, in New York, in Cologne, in Venice. So how does it feel uh, to finally have a major installation in San Francisco? Well, it's, it's, it's wonderful for me because I think with all the traveling and all the projects I've done far away from home, I always felt like a bit of an outsider here, you know, like uh, like I didn't really fit in, you know, and, and it was a great place to live, but I just thought that nobody really knew, except some close friends, what I was really, really doing, and uh, it's really nice for me to have my family be able to share this experience, but this project seems to have sparked a lot of dialogue and interest with other sort of people and institutions in the city and I hope uh, you know some other kind of things will follow from this. You know people are wandering in and discovering your your audio installation. Uh, what have you observed in, their, in terms of their reactions? Well I think uh, people are uh, noticing it uh, in, a, in a way that uh, is su surprising. It really sort of stops people. I see lots of people kind of stopping and looking up trying to figure out are there really birds in City Hall? Uh, they, it doesn't sound like a recording of birds. They sound like very real. I, I find it interesting how uh, people, uh, it stops people and causes them to kind of listen and take notice. You know, it really is, um, uh, I think, very exciting for me to see people from major art collectors and uh, and the every, everyday person sharing equally in, in this beautiful installation of yours. So uh, really, the Arts Commission is very, very grateful 
uh, that you know you agreed to do this really. Well, and, I'm, and I'm very grateful that the Art Commission uh, asked me to do it and sort of uh, made the effort to raise money to do it and you know uh, and worked really hard to make this possible.